Hi, Leo. This is going to be a reading for October 2020. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this resonates for you, Leo, please do like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Leave me a comment. If it doesn't, please check your other placements because there can always be messages in those as well for you. So, Leo, when I was meditating on your energy, I did see the lion, which obviously represents you. And that just felt to me like strength, like you've got to have strength. Um, what I'm going to do in this reading is get you as many messages as I possibly can. We're going to start out with some love. And then we'll go into uh, couples, singles, and some work information. And then we'll get whatever random messages the universe wants to give you, as well as some oracle cards about manifestation and health, and then another one of the oracle cards for a message from the universe. So back to what I was feeling about love. Your first card is unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Very soon, clearly decide what it is you want so that it comes to you now, and then flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. The first feeling I got, like I said, when I saw the lion, was that there's strength that you need to have. If there's a situation you were in where you didn't feel like there was equal give and take, I think possibly this person just needs a little bit of time. Maybe you need to lighten up a little bit, maybe flirt a little bit more. Give it some time and really figure out what it is that you want from the relationship. I think they're just asking you to ask yourself, really take a moment to dig deep, be strong, stand your ground. If there's anything that feels off in the situation, if there isn't balance, be strong enough to stand up and in maybe a flirty way, let this person know how you're feeling. Maybe it doesn't need to be expressed in such a an abrupt type of manner just to kind of do it in a flirty way and get your point across like this just doesn't feel right or I feel like I'm putting more in how whatever you feel comfortable saying to this person and I think you'll find that they're going to open up a little bit more to you this feels more like a new situation if this is someone from your past I think you're trying to find the strength to get out of the situation because it doesn't feel like the other person is giving in. Maybe you sense that they're flirting with other people and they're trying to tell you that you're going to see this. Um, maybe something's going to come to light for you very soon that tells you that really they weren't giving to this relationship what it deserved or what you deserved and you're going to have to have the strength to get through that. Okay, so let's get some cards to see what's going on for Leo. This is for October 2020 for Leo. This is for October 2020 for Leo. Okay, Leo. Let's see what they have for you. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, the High Priestess, and the four of cups. So the first thing I want to discuss is if this is a past situation. I think you and this person have gone through several cycles and you thought that maybe things were going to work out in the past. Maybe something in your intuition said and you know with the four of cups that's basically like in a sense unrequited love. This is someone who wasn't recognizing what it was that you were offering in the relationship and your intuition kept kicking in with the high priestess. Maybe you were starting to see, I always pick up on the shadow and the light side from this card, which means maybe you've gotten in touch with some aspects of yourself that you didn't have before. Maybe it's your intuition kicking in a little bit stronger and you're realizing that this is just a cycle that keeps happening and you want to move forward out of that repetitive type of relationship where people don't recognize your worth 
or what it is that you have to offer. They're always seeming to look maybe into the to what's available to them. They're not really paying attention to this. They kind of see that maybe they have options and they don't commit to any given situation or you feel like they're not giving into this situation the way that you want. They're also telling me that with the Wheel of Fortune, oh, we have a visitor. This is my grand kitty, so I apologize. You guys are getting a visit from my son's very beautiful bangle cat who I don't want to burn himself right now, so I apologize. This is Simba, everyone. So welcome, Simba. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, I think things are going to be turning in your favor, in your love life and your work situation. So they want you to be strong because things are going to start to look up and turn around. If this is someone in your past, I think your intuition is telling you that this is probably not a good situation, sorry, for you to invest in. <laughs> that you need to look forward to what could be coming for you in the future. Okay. So let's try to get away from this distraction so we can do the rest of your reading. Okay, so this is for Leo. Okay. All right, now this is definitely somebody from your past. It looks as though they're going to be coming forward to tell you that they recognize that there wasn't balance in the relationship and that they know that your value, your self, the things, your self-worth, sorry, I'm skipping over my words because I have this lump in my lap. They're going to tell you, they're going to come in with a message to let you know that they see your worth. They know everything that you had to offer and that you were offering to the relationship and that they realize that there was imbalance. I'm not sure what actions you're going to take. So we'll find out if this is something that you want to even invest in in the future or if you're just going to hear them out. I'm being told they you might just hear them out, but I don't think you're going to make a decision immediately. I think you're going to take your time, really find the strength to dig deep and figure it out and see if this is something that's enough for you. The pages are, you know, youthful, they're young. It's not necessarily an offer of longevity is what I'm hearing. So maybe it's just kind of like, oh, this here's, here's a token. Here's a, a little something that I have to bring to this situation. I do see your worth. I know that things weren't balanced, but it may not be as much as you really want to hear from them. So, and that's your current energy. So we've got the Four of Swords in reverse, the King of Wands in reverse, and the Seven of Cups. So to me, this is saying that you're tired of thinking about this situation. You've probably put a lot of energy into it. And with the King of Wands in reverse, that's somebody who doesn't really speak the truth. So if you're sensing that or you're sensing that this person's kind of delusional or maybe they've brought a lot of confusing um, things to the relationship that made you question whether they were telling you the truth and you've really had to think this through. It looks like this person has some options and you found out that they had options and they weren't telling the truth about it. And you're like, no, I'm not going to think this through any longer. I don't have the time or the energy for this. You, you you want to take the time to go within and really decide, again, find your strength and decide whether this is worth putting any time or energy into, especially if this person has options and there's unrequited love. Maybe they're flirting with other people and you've picked up on that. You intuitively know that with the high priestess that this person's doing these types of things and it's just not a game you're willing to play. Okay, and then on the bottom of the deck, we have the star in reverse. So to me, I feel like this is saying that you've lost hope in the situation. Um, maybe at one point you felt like this person could be 
your wish fulfillment, wish fulfilled, however you want to put that. But it doesn't look like it is. And I think once you take that time to really dig deep, you're going to find that this person's not going to be the one for you. Okay, so let's get some specifics about singles. So what's coming for the single? What's coming for my lingo? I can't talk today. What is coming for my single Leos? What is coming for my single Leos? Okay. All right. So if this is a past person, I don't see a new beginning. With the Ace of Wands in reverse, this, this to me is someone that is definitely not taking a step forward. But the, the great thing about this singles, this is the Knight of Pentacles, and then we've got the Page of Wands. So we've got someone who's going to come in who's stable. Maybe they don't open up right away. Maybe it's going to be a tough start. Maybe they don't fully reveal themselves. But um, I'm sensing they're showing me the third or fourth week of October that if you're looking for new love or you've recently been flirting with someone, the very soon in the flirt could be coming into play here with this new person. And I think they're going to be coming in towards you very stable. At the beginning, it may seem like the communication is a little bit less than what you desire. And it may not get off to a really, really strong start. But I think you definitely have something to look forward to. I'm not picking up on work yet. If you're wondering about signs, we've got the earth sign. So we've got Taurus. Capricorn and Virgo, and then we have the wands, which is um, the fire signs. We've got Leo, Sag, and I just went blank. Leo, I'm sorry, Leo, Sag, and Aries. All right, so let's get something for my couples. What's going on with my Leos that are coupled? I feel like my, my Leo couples, you might be feeling like things are really imbalanced right now in your relationship. If your partner's having trouble with work, it may it, it may feel as though things are imbalanced in in your home space. Sorry, I gotta grab these cards. All right. Oh let's see what came out for you. Because we have three cards here. So we've got the page of cups, the chariot and the Seven of Pentacles. They've got Cancer here, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And then we've got Earth again. And this card keeps wanting to flip out. So I think with the Seven of Pentacles, what this is trying to tell you is you've got to put a little bit more work into the situation because it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. The Page of Cups is maybe there's been a little bit of, hey, I really do want to work on this. This is for my couples again. So maybe what little the person you're in the relationship with has been bringing to the table has not been enough for you. Maybe you've actually had some thoughts about moving away from the relationship. But in reverse, I don't think either one of you are going anywhere. I do think you're looking at what kind of a a basis you've built in this, what kind of a why can't they give me the words I'm looking for? You've built a strong foundation in this relationship and you've put a lot of work into it and you don't want to walk away from it. Even though it may feel like there's not a lot of love being offered at the time, I do think you want to put the effort in to make things work out. If you're putting energy into a work situation, I do see that growing. I don't think you're going to be leaving a job they're bringing up the work now. I was going to check into that in a minute, but this may do with have to do with work for both singles and couples. So I don't see you moving away from the job that you're cur currently in. They're asking you to put a little bit more work into 
whatever it is, if this was a new project that you've been putting a, a lot of energy into, maybe it, it's very emotional to you because cups definitely represent emotion. They're just asking you to put a little bit more work into that situation, into your current job or into whatever project you may want to get started. Because I do believe it's going to pay off in the long run. Okay, so we did singles and couples. So let's get the messages from the lover's oracle that I had pulled for you prior to starting the video. The first one we've got is forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So if something had been happening for you singles that seemed kind of off in this situation from the past, forgive and let go. For those of you in a relationship or coupled up, married, whichever it is, you just need to get past whatever these incidences were and truly forgive so that you can move forward. Because I don't think either one of you want to move away from the relationship. And then we've got acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Again, I think that has to do with letting go of whatever was going on in the situation so that in your relationship so that you can move past it and just try to find some balance. I think you're going to find that there will be, especially in your the couple situations, you're going to find that things are going to start lightening up maybe towards the end of November into December. Yeah. That's what I'm picking up on. All right, so let's get some direct messages about work and money for my Leos for the month of October. What are you seeing for work and money for my Leos? October 2020. Let's see what's going on for work and money. Okay, so the moon, the judgment, and the eight of pentacles. If you've been dealing with anything at work where you feel like somebody's holding back or somebody's talking behind your back is what I'm sensing, maybe there's some secrets that you either are about to find out or someone has told you about recently and you're going to have to use your judgment as to whether... You want to reveal these secrets, I feel like, to a boss or maybe to your coworkers. It seems as though whatever it is that you're, you're working towards is growing, for sure. With the Eight of Pentacles, this person's definitely putting in the work and they're watching it grow. So I think it's worth it. If you had any question about whether these issues at work were going to cause a problem and you had to make some kind of a judgment call. I don't think it's going to be an issue. I think you just need to keep your head down and focus on your job. If you're looking for a new job right now, you just can't see what's coming. I think there's, if you've applied for something, they're still making a decision about it. It's going to be something that you're going to work really hard at. Now, if this is someone who works for themselves. I think you just need to see what type of work you need to put into this situation to have it grow. It will be successful is what I'm hearing. So be patient, take your time, move away any kind of um, fogged thinking is what I'm getting. So if there's anything that you don't feel clear about. Let that pass, maybe go over it a few more times and decide that, you know, you can find balance in this situation and put your work, energy, everything into it. And I promise you, it's going to be successful. Okay. Now let's get some overall messages. See if there's anything else we need to know for Leo. October. What else do we need to know? Any other messages for Leo? They were just telling me if there's a situation um, 
to do with children that there's something needs to be worked out between parents who have separated and whether the children are going to be staying with one parent or the other more. I feel like there's going to be a split custody. So it's as though there's going to be, you know, one week with one parent, one week with the other. That just came out of nowhere. So I just wanted to share it with you. Okay, let's see if there's any overall messages for you. Okay. So this is actually really good. To me, the death card means transformation. A feeling like you're coming out of a dark time and moving towards things that aren't truthful or, or not moving towards things that aren't truthful, moving away from things. You're transforming out of a time period where either truths weren't spoken in relationships. You're not going to be dealing with people who don't tell you the truth right up front. The Ten of Wands in reverse is, is actually just laying it down. You're done. You're not carrying these burdens anymore, whatever they may be, whether it's in a relationship, in a work situation. I think you need to bury your head if you're at a job and just focus on your work and not what's going on around you because these truths will come out on their own if need be. Let it transform itself. Stay out of... Stay out of its way, they're saying. Stay out of its way. So it's not for you to have to deal with. If there is any question in a relationship about somebody telling the truth, I think they're going to come forward and let you know what that is. Other than that, they, that seems to be all for the relationships and love. So let's get your Law of Attraction cards and health cards. So these could be messages for you, Leo, or they could be for someone that's surrounding you. So let's see what they have to say for you for the month of October. This is for Leo. All right. What messages do we have for Leo? Whenever I am feeling bad, I am attracting that which is unwanted. Whenever you feel bad, you're in the process of attracting something that will not please you. Without exception, the reason for negative emotion is that you are focused upon something you do not want or upon the lack or absence of something that you do not, you do want. Whenever you feel negative emotion, you could say to yourself, I'm feeling some negative emotion, which means I'm in the process of attracting something that I do not want. What is it that I do want? For some reason, they're really pointing out the work situation. So again, if, if there is chaos going on at work, I would not focus on it. I would remove yourself from the situation and don't worry if you're concerned about not getting a job. I do feel like there's going to be offers that you just can't see them yet. That's what the moon card was saying before is that you just can't see the opportunities yet, but they're going to come. It's just, you're going to have to put a lot of work into that job. Okay. And then your next card is I have the potential right now for illness or wellness. Illness is an exaggerated indicator of negative thoughts, and negative thoughts are resistance, no matter their subject. This is the reason that new diseases continue to come about, and until actual cause of the disease is addressed, there will never be a final cure. You have the potential for every illness in your body right now. You have the potential for a perfect state of health in your body right now, and you will solicit one or the other, or a mixture, depending upon your balance of thought. So if a lot of what's been going on, either in your relationships or at work, that seems to be bringing you down and you're starting to wear out, they need you to take a break and try to get out of the, the stinking thinking, get out of constantly focusing on the negative things that are happening, really kind of keep to yourself, take a break. They're showing me a bathtub, so maybe you need to take some spiritual baths or you know, those bath bombs that are just really, really fragrant and relax you. Take some time for yourself and remove yourself from these situations. In relationships, if these relationships that you're in or have currently come out of have caused you a lot of stress, it could be making you feel like you're getting sick. And the best thing you can do for your body is obviously to eat well. So, Take the time to focus on where you're feeling something in your body and is it coming about because of 
the stress of the situations that you're going through. Really, truly focus on taking care of you so that you can give to either your job or a relationship. Okay, let's get a card from the universe. Let's see what the universe has for you. What do we have for Leo for the month of October? Okay. We have new life. See, I see that. There's been so many different types of messages because I want to reach as many people as I possibly can. I think we've got 39, which comes down to a 12. So maybe it's something focused in your 12th house. You'll have to check and see what placement you have in your 12th house. Could be focused on that. That area is where you're going to see new life. I think in general, what they're trying to say to you is to stay positive that new life is coming, whether it's a renewal in your relationship that's going to get better. Things are going to progress and get better as the year finishes out. And the same at work. It's that letting go of whatever's going on around you and creating something that you want to feel at work. So creating that new life, putting new life energy into what it is that you're doing. Same with your creative projects. If that's what you're working on, they want you to breathe new life into the situation. Don't lose hope is what they keep saying. So just don't lose hope because good times are coming. Things are going to start transforming. I think most Leos are going to start seeing things shift more towards November, not feeling as much the newness in October, more towards November. So I hope that helped, Leo. I hope you guys have an amazing month, and I will see you in your next video. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check all the information out in the description box below. Please do like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you have a message for me, please do leave a comment below. Okay, Leo, take care. See you soon. Love and light. Bye.